welcome to war india news r social media platform can certainly be used for asking questions and criticize the digital india program has now become a movement which is empowering common indians with the power of technology the extensive spread of mobile phones internet etc has also enabled many social media platforms to expand their footprints in india common people are also using these platforms in a very significant way the major social media platforms active in india are whatsapp youtube facebook instagram and twitter these social platforms have enabled common indians to show their creativity ask questions be informed and freely share their views including criticism of the government and its functionaries the government acknowledges and respects the right of every indian to criticize and disagree as an essential element of democracy india is the world's largest open internet society and the government welcomes social media companies to operate in india do business and also earn profits However, they will have to be accountable to the constitution and laws of India. Secondly, it was found that currently there is no robust complaint mechanism wherein the ordinary users of social media and OTT platforms can register their complaint and get it redressed within a defined timeline. Lack of transparency and absence of robust grievance redressal mechanisms have left the users totally dependent on the whims and fancies of social media platforms. Let's look into the headlines in War India. Tech Mahindra Riyajin applied for the patent for molecule that attacks coronavirus. Makers Lab is the research and development arm of Tech Mahindra. Tech Mahindra is in the process of filing a patent along with Riyajin Biosciences for a drug molecule that can potentially attack coronaviruses. Tech Mahindra Global Head Makers Lab Nikhil Malhotra told PTI that the company along with its partner is applying for patenting on which further testing will be done. However, we cannot reveal the name of the molecule unless the patent process is completed, Malhotra said. UPI registers 2.64 billion transactions in April. UPI registered 2.64 billion or 264 crore transactions worth rupees 4 lakhs 93663 crores in April data released by NPCI. In the UPI ecosystem, phone pay, Google Pay and Paytm control more than 90% market share. In March, UPI had recorded 2.73 billion or 273 crore transactions amounting to rupees 5 lakhs 4886 crores. While the total transactions slipped a bit in April, the tra- daily transaction volume for UPI was almost the same in the last 2 months with nearly 88 million transactions. Francisco Partners and TPG to buy Dell's cloud business Boomi. Dell Technologies has signed a definitive agreement with private equity firms Francisco Partners and TPG Capital to buy its cloud business Boomi in a 4 billion dollar cash transaction. The deal is expected to close by the end of this year. The action has been taken as Dell Technologies is under pressure to boost profitability after its debt-laden acquisition of data storage provider EMC Corp for 67 billion dollars in 2016 failed to meet financial targets hurt by intensifying price competition. Microsoft Teams crosses 145 million daily active users. There is a spike in more than double digit a year ago Microsoft Teams had 75 million daily active users Microsoft officials shared a report on its Q3 FY21 earnings on April 27th that number is now 145 million The rapid growth of the product is in large part fueled by the need for remote work during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic Teams began as a group chat platform but Microsoft has been turning it into an almost operating operating system like product over time by extending its capabilities and features Vodafone aims partnership with Google Cloud to develop data services Vodafone Group PLC and Alphabet Inc's Google Cloud entered a strategic partnership to jointly develop data services Vodafone said About 1000 workers in Britain, Spain and the United States will be asked by both companies to create Nucleus, a new cloud-based storage and analytics portal which will host Vodafone's data. Nucleus will be capable of processing around 50 terabytes of data a day within the cloud, Vodafone said in a statement. 
That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.